and then you look up here to Golem, you're going to notice something really freaking weird. And I know in a graph in the past, uh, not in my stream, but that I posted on the Reddits, I accidentally used like the wrong simulation and it caused a lower um, level you know, iteration of a Pokemon to perform better. And then when I look back at it, it was like the wrong moveset. This is not that kind of mistake. I double, triple, quadruple checked it. Seen on a scrap here, you got, I don't know how well you guys can see this at home, but um, Golem at level 23.5, its DPS and its TDO is a little bit higher than level 29 Golem. That's kind of weird, you know? Uh, and you're thinking like, well, what the, what the H, you know, what the H Ryan swag. And, uh, so level 29 and level 23.5 are both, uh, break points. Uh, if you don't know what a break point is, when I post this on YouTube, um, I'll put a link in the description to the game press article explaining what break points are. Um, but it's like when your attack, your, the quick move damage you do, um, does one more damage, you know? So it's kind of like, as long as you cross that level with like a 15 attack IV, or if you do it with a lower IV, you have to power up a little bit more, then your damage is like a lot more effective. So you're thinking like, well, level 29, that's more effective damage, like, you know, than like level 23.5, surely. So why is it performing worse? Uh, well, at level 28, extra sensory specifically, you know, reaches this, um, this damage uh, breakpoint, right? For a golem. So just like breakpoints exist for our attacks against the raid bosses, there are breakpoints for, you know, our defenses to defend against. Is that when Golem hits that level 28 defensive breakpoint, it takes one, it, it gets one less extra energy from the, uh, from the extra sensory, right? Now, it's going to see, like, roughly four extra sensories at the beginning of the fight. The very beginning of the fight, you're most likely going to see four extra sensories before it whips out that solar beam or any of its charge moves, right? And you're probably thinking, like, well, that's only four extra energy. Does it really make that big of a difference, you know? Uh, and I actually went in. Yeah, like, I thought I was losing it because I, I've been so, like, exhausted lately. I'm like, no, Ryan, it's like, you're, you're losing your mind. This isn't real, you know? Uh, I looked into it, and I, like, counted out the energy gains for each rock throw you do and stuff like that. And it, it's odd. It, it, this is ridiculous. Some This is some ridiculous, like, nonsensical, but... It, in the simulations, it works, right? And I've faced uh, two extrasensory uh, ho-ohs already, and it worked for me in both times that I tested it. Um, but, you know, grand old sample size of two, you know, like... <laughs> so maybe maybe it's not, you know, 100% effective, um, but it looks, like it looks like it is. That extra four energy actually makes it so that Golem can more consistently and reliably use Stone Edge before ho -Oh's Solar Beam hits it um, or any of its charge moves, you know? And that sounds like, that sounds crazy, but like when I, when I actually like counted out each rock throw, you know what I mean? It was like, wow, that, that four energy is like all it needs to like consistently get there. And the two times that I, that I tried it out with the, the lower level Golem, you know, avoiding the level 28 defensive breakpoint, uh, it, it just eked it out, like, each time, and I was like, oh, wow, where, uh, one time I fought one with a, with my, ma with my much higher level golem, I, I don't know what level it is specifically right now, much higher level golem, uh, but yeah, it didn't get it, it just died right away from the, from the solar beam, so I was like, well, how about that, <laughs> you know, like, well, that's interesting, you know, so, I don't know, guys, uh, try it out, you know, um, Start leading with your less than level 28 golems and uh, let, let me know what happens because, you know, right now sample size of two, but now now this golem tech is out there, you know, what to lead with in the ho -Oh raid, you know, and if it gets that stone edge off, then it goes up to like that 14 high DPS and the TDO goes up too because that's more damage before it faints. Um, now, why does the average bring it back down? Well, because the way Pokebattler does the simulations, uh, later iterations of Golem, like after the first Golem that faints, you know, now the Solar Beam use is a little bit less predictable, you know, and then it comes down again. And 
Uh, another thing with that too, I guess, is the reason why it works more consistently for the very beginning of the ho fight is because the two extra sensories are more streamlined. They're very predictable, right? And they come, like, you'll be getting hit by four of them earlier than you would with uh, other ones. And so, like, because that beginning of the fight is more consistent, more streamlined, more predictable, you know, uh, that's why, like, that, that less than <laughs> level 28 ends up doing this, you know, much better. I don't know, sorry that if I'm hype harping on this a lot, I don't know if I'm losing people here on this, on this strange golem tech, you know, um, I'm gonna feature it in the Game Press article, and I think they're, they're publishing it tomorrow, uh, don't quote me, but they said, yeah, probably like Friday they're publishing it. So I'll include some information about this this sweet niche uh, wild golem tech there. Um, but yeah, let me know let me know if it works or not. I mean, if it's working for you guys, because you know, sample size two versus sample size of uh, I guess the eight people that watch this, <laughs> you know. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, and uh, wow, what else was I gonna say about golem? Oh yeah, so when it comes to steel wing though. Uh, Steel Wing is going to do more damage anyway, so you're going to get that energy anyways. So for the very beginning of the fight, uh, you don't have to be fancy about what level it is if you know it's Steel Wing, because you're going to most likely be able to get that Stone Edge off anyways, you know? And then some fun stuff here, I included Pseudo Udo. You know, uh, ho -Oh, you know, big old, big old Raid Birdo. Uh, pretty difficult to counter, you know, uh, people are running into some hard times there, countering the ho -Oh. Um, with Solar Beam specifically, you know, uh, a lot of the local people that I've ran into, they're like, oh man, yeah, like, we only had, like, eight people and we couldn't do it. And, like, this kind of situation is very reminiscent of how uh, Lugia was back when Lugia dropped. Uh, there were many times where I'd be, like, driving home from work or something, I'd see, like, a large group of people in front of a gym, and they'd be doing a raid, and then I'd pull up. And I'd be like, hey guys, you know, did you guys already do it? And they're like, oh man, we keep losing. And it'd be like 10 people. And it was because they had Hydro Pump. And so I was equipped. I had, you know, all the Tyranitars. I had the, the good Gyaradoses and stuff like that. I had the best counters for it. And I would hop in, help them out, and we'd, we'd win it, you know. And it's because, you know, people are afraid of the Hydro Pump, you know. And then you have this situation with Solar Beam. I imagine a lot of uh, more casual players are, you know, they, they fear the beam, you know, and I think they should just, like, embrace the fact that they're going to faint. Um, use, you know, uh, golems that they've caught. They could even... I don't think casual players are going to raid golems. I, I, I can't advise anyone to raid golem. But if they raid golem, then they only have to power it up, you know, a little bit to cross that 23.5 breakpoint. And now it's now they got another, you know, golem onto their zerg squad to, to melt down, you know, the... Uh, the raid boss, oh, faster, faster than, you know, the solar beam can wipe them out, you know, and that's kind of what I think a lot of players are going to end up doing. I got my Zerg squad ready to help people out beat ho because, like, once again, even though, like, Dragonite will survive longer, uh, it doesn't have quite the DPS, and that could be significant in trying to help a random group of people defeat the, defeat the ho -Oh. Once again, I'll, I'll go more detail on this if, uh, if this uh, video kind of glazes over it a little bit. But uh, against Extra Sensory, there's that, that secret golem tech, that, uh, that sub-level 28 <laughs> breakpoint dodge, where if you lead with golem, then you can more reliably get off the stone edge. I don't know, I'm, still, I'm still very curious to see what the real is on that. You know, I, I want to see some, some people rocking that out. So maybe I'll even make like a Reddit post or a call to action like, like get on this, guys! I want I want a sample size of like not two, maybe two hundred would be reasonable, right? People are actually getting this. Uh, so yeah, I, I've I've noticed it the two times I did it, uh, and I know that's that's a sample size of two. But counting out the rock throws in the simulator, you know, on paper, um, specifically against the the very beginning of the fight where it's got the consistent streamlined, the and the early extra sensories, you know it. It, that four extra damage, I mean, that four extra energy, as small as it is, really does, like, it, it just pushes it right to that right to that point. Like, and I was, like, looking at it, like, counting it out, I was like, this is so dumb, but this is, 
This is actually how it works. This is stupid, you know? So, yeah, only in Pokemon Go, a level 23.5 Golem is better than a level 29, right? So, <laughs> pretty cool. Now, as far as uh, how ho -Oh goes in the meta, you know, how does it size up against Moltres? How does it size up against Lugia? You know, 